Welcome to the Live Rogue Lab. Today we're gonna to be showing another way to retrieve a rope from rappelling. So we're gonna start with the sharp end going through the anchors. This could literally go around a tree or a boulder or whatever, you just have to do a pull test to make sure that it would actually pull past that. You tie a slip knot with the long end on the pull side. We're gonna put our sharp end through the slip knot. And then we're gonna pull hard on the long end. Sorry about that. And we have our bowline. There's a lot of ways to tie a bowline. Then we should back it up for the rest of the group. Okay. So now the rest of the group can rappel down here. And when it's time for the leader to go down or the last person to go down, they can set up the pull. We have a pull line here with two carabiners on it. Quite a bit of uh, distance between them. These are just some cheap uh, steel carabiners. Doesn't really matter. You could probably use um, even wrap rings if you need to or, or uh, screw links. So we take the sharp end one, the farthest one, and we put it on right here. We put the one lower down on the rope into the tongue of the bowline. And you can see there's the bowline, there's our setup. Now it's important that the leader or the final repeller is smart enough to untie this backup knot because if they don't, the rope will be stuck and you will have to ascend back up. So now repeller, last person can repel down. They just have to be very mindful not to pull on their pull rope. They get to the bottom, and then what we do is we just pull this pull rope, and you'll see it pulls the tongue out. And then this last rope finishes untying the knot. Now we can just untie, or excuse me, now we can just pull down the rope. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.